what's up what's happening it's omar um and this is my first vlog i just thought i'd start making these to kind of show you guys a bit of an insight into what my regular life is in terms of work and um, the stuff that goes on during my weeks and what kind of happens behind the scenes i think that even the emails i've been getting are so interesting because you guys have been asking so many questions like about the way i work and what i do and how i put things into action i thought it'd be a good thing for me to show you guys to I think my breakfast is burning. One second. Um, but yeah, so I kind of want to, um, yeah, to give you a bit of an insight, let you guys see what happens um, when I like go to meet my clients, stuff I do, stuff I get up to, um, and how I think as well. So I along the way, I'll try to give you little tips, advice, a little bit of motivation here and there, um, and see if I can, you know, relate to you guys in any kind of way. All right, guys, so now I'm on my way to, well, my way to about to get crushed by this coach. I'm on my way to a meeting with um, my client now. So obviously it's now it's like 11, 11.30 a.m. So I'm driving to Crystal Palace, I've got a meeting there. So this is gonna be a creative session. I'll film some of it, let you guys see what's going on. But basically, this is where I get together with my clients and we just talk about the project. See what's going on, show them some of my ideas and whatnot. So I'm just driving there now. Gonna go see what's happening, see if they're okay. Uh, my job as a businessman and as a designer and as a project manager is to make sure my clients are always 100% always 100% make sure that they're not feeling any type of way make sure they're not in the like you know like not clued up about anything because in this technical industry there can be things that are a bit confusing so I've got to do my job and make them feel comfortable and do everything properly so I'm gonna head down there now show you guys what's going on so we're here for a creative session right now okay. Alex and Ollie we've got right. you all here as well this uh, session on a Sunday we're gonna be working on um, some different like um, stages of this app, discussing a few creative things, seeing where we are with the project and what's going on. Guys, you want to say hi? Hi, what's up? <laughs> Will? Shy ones. He's guys. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Very comfortable soon, don't worry. <laughs> I feel like you've never met me before. We're like, who is this guy who just turned up in our house as I just filming? <laughs> That's me, I'm a weirdo. First version. Um, you, can, you, you, can, you can tie in an Android and actually it's got is it? I'm just trying to think what else you can use for, for that. But it's, it's quite open. Well, like, that lets the users who create the sustainable AI. Yeah. For the, but it is for that. You can, uh, I don't know, guys, if you are, are familiar with Apollo. So, uh, hello. Right now, we're on a call with a developer. Let's get some ideas better. and make sure developers know where we're at. Oh. Yeah, so that it, it was really glitchy. Oh, maybe it's well, not better. Maybe <laughs> it's, not. it's got a notebook here to keep writing notes. <laughs> do, we, do we have the, the parts providers yet? Uh, yeah, parts they provide everything. Mm. Actually, yeah, that, that's, that's actually really interesting. Okay. Just go back to timelines. Yeah, so just go yeah. back to timelines. Shall, shall, shall I summarize them quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's already, it has been already like... No, because no, it's, 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 it's more around the logic. What? Yeah, but I'm saying if, it, if it's a calculation which is based on, say, six or seven different variables, um, and that's against X amount of people within a particular radius, how do we go about performance testing that that um, calculation is going to come back within a, a matter of seconds rather than minutes, for instance? Like, like in literally like real life scenarios, like if people are really good, like before we actually put it in the market and make a thousand people go to it, yeah. we don't want to at that stage realize that, you know, this happens or that happens. We want to know pre-hand, yeah. how can we preempt those situations and create those scenarios? So is there a way of us doing that to stop any issues happening later on? Exactly. This, 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 uh, this, uh, this requires uh, what we use, unit test. So I will be doing some unit testing. Yeah. There's a different unit testing. Oh, it's a couple of films. We're a laptop here, we're designing live. We're working on some app icons, it's some exciting stuff. Yeah. And it's... Oli, how's it going? Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah? Pizza's good though. A bit of pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Pizza. yeah. Got a few of the creativity. So this What's your one piece of advice you'd give to anyone looking to start their own um, like tech company or their own like startup? Mm. Do it sooner rather than later. Get yourself out there, get the experience. Really, really important. Yeah. There you go. The man himself. 
So what's going on? And I'm now in uh, Meet and Shake with a friend of mine, Kessa. Kessa actually came across me on uh, Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah, Instagram. So he saw myself on Instagram. I must have literally DM'd me like a few months ago just to say like, just say hi. Um, and then asked me a couple questions about some your, about business or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and after that, we just ended up talking um, and literally just we're trying to meet up for so long it's been months trying to meet up and we never got a chance to but now finally we got a chance and he came down he's from Huddersfield Huddersfield right so from Huddersfield came down to London like just to chill out and just talk and just have a good conversation and just you know just vibe man and I like doing this kind of stuff because I feel like if people get some sort of inspiration or from what I do or see my videos on my Instagram posts I want to just like hook up but you know if I got the time and I'll always make time and it's always good to have this conversation and chill out so what's up Kessa? Good boy, yeah. out to nice, him, it's all good man, it's all good. I just thought maybe if we got like I feel like it's gonna drop. I just felt like if we got the opportunity just to talk and maybe um just for I don't know, just for you to see, you know, what you kinda of saw when like yeah. when you browse online and you know why it's important for stuff like this to happen, like even for yeah. us to talk and stuff. Like why is it important for you that we have this kind of situations? I mean like it's good to connect with people like yourself, like yeah. I think we come from the same background and like both creative mindsets and like I, I want to know what I want to go into and like to see I came across your profile and like I was intrigued about what you do and like the, some of uh, the different projects you worked on like especially when you were at USA and like I was really intrigued about that and like I, then we just started messaging and like we want to connect and so long man we, we tried yeah. meeting up literally man. like we probably my fault <laughs> mainly my fault nah it's good man I know how busy it can be as well but yeah and then Alhamdulillah today we got to meet and like it's good man it's good to connect we've talked and we prayed together and um, you told me about your ideas what you do and like yeah. it's, it's given me a good insight into your business as well man that's good man I mean I think that's the main thing like yeah. if through any of this like for me even just being able to just like even have a conversation like yeah, this and I know because I've been in a position like what you're saying right now yeah. you're trying to figure out your career and yeah, stuff yeah. and I didn't know anyone I could talk to yeah, bro yeah, yeah. Like, for real for real like no one I didn't know who I could speak to who yeah. I could reach out to so if I can offer that in some sort of way and just like even just as friends man yeah, like you yeah, know yeah. what I mean like it's good for me to even meet people like you and then just be yeah. there and if you ever got questions or whatever yeah, it is yeah. you know you're more than welcome down to come down to my office I said to come, yeah, to, come yeah. to my studio anytime to chill out and stuff but you know I gave him a little book recommendation this zero to one book I think I told you guys about that in the last uh, video that I was the last video I put up the five rules five right? yeah. success yeah you know what's crazy as well what's interesting is because it, it's funny because a lot of these principles I've explained about before about being yeah. persistent yeah, yeah, the email rule and stuff like that like it's crazy how when you do it yourself yeah, yeah. Like, even the fact that we're here like you try to get in touch with me mm. but you've been persistent about it as well yeah. to the extent where you've got in touch and you've literally been like Yo, let's meet, let's meet, let's meet, let's and meet, and like, all this came up you know what I mean? And even for me to yeah, see yeah. someone, it's like, yo, you know what? This guy really wants to meet yeah, and yeah. talk. Why would I not? Yeah. Of course, I would have anyway, but just finding the time. But now, like, somehow, obviously, mm. it's it just that perfect time now. But your persistency and even your hunger, mm. it just shows. And it, I think it's proof to you guys as well that if you really want to, like, put yourself out there and get in touch with the people, you can. You and can like, do it. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's not impossible. Smokes out, bro. Smoke out of the So right now me and Hamza are here. It's a Monday. It's Monday um after Monday evening to be honest, it's like ten PM. I had a whole day of work, so I've been up since like seven AM. Well Hamza here he's he's excellent I like time management and project management and and ensuring that everything in the company is operating like according to to where it needs to and especially me as well he, he checks up on my schedule so what we're doing right now is we're trying a new way of managing my schedule because i've noticed that recently my time is being consumed a lot like um in like answering emails and just doing a lot of like like pr stuff because like so much has been happening which has been like incredible and i've really appreciated of it but i need to make sure that i make the use most best use of my time and that i delegate work accordingly and that i'm still being able to be creative and focus on my craft because at the end of the day i'm a designer so i need to be able to ensure that i'm designing as much as possible working on projects as much as possible but not compromising the quality of like everything else that's going on so like the, the content i'm producing for you guys or the, my meetings or you know handling clients so 
it's kind of what we're doing right now. So you might get, well, I'll just keep it on for a bit and then you guys see kind of what we're discussing and how we're kind of planning it all. Mm. Yeah, is basically three hours over what you actually have. Yeah. So and I need to cut down my... By more than three hours. Because cut down design time by three hours. No, 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 admin time. Cut down admin time by three by hours. more than three hours, yeah? So, so review, yeah? Mm. Which can be done much quicker. Yeah, catch up can be done much. Well, it depends on how you like to work. It's not nothing set in stone. What I'm trying to see, you've now visualized where your time goes, and I guarantee you, your time actually goes in like about about about, the, about that much more. All right, cool. Yeah, and that's what you're saying. You want to kick into gear on Tuesday morning so you can whack out your design work. What I'm saying is, plan your time to such in such a way that you know what you're gonna do. So now meetings we schedule for Friday. I'm saying it's four hours a week enough for your meetings. I don't think it is. If you're saying you've got current, so in bro, I'll spend, I'll spend uh, in meetings. One meeting can end up being like a couple of hours. So you got current. So four, so in four hours, I have to get all those tasks done. Basically, I'm asking you, is that enough for you? Because for, for four hours is enough if I'm doing it by myself and I'm just managing it in my own zone. But if I have to go and meet and do stuff like that, that's not enough. I'm just going to see a good friend of mine, Hitch Dami. Uh, we're just going to go out for lunch and just catch up and talk about a few business and a few different things. But he just recently had a newborn baby. So if you tweet him, Instagram him, say congratulations for a new baby boy. But obviously you can't go empty handed, so I just come to get a little gift for him. So pull it out. Let's turn it around. There you go. Little Arsenal show with Hitch Dami on it. With Dami on it, but number one for a newborn baby. So I'm going to grab this and go and go check him out now and give it to him. Thank you very much. Take, Take care, care, man. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Guys, what's up? I'm here with H Dami. Yo, what's up? We're here. We've just been. The sun is mad in our eyes. Yeah, man. It's about time, yo. Drinking a bit of halal coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just had a quick um, little like, talk. Hopefully, you guys have probably seen the vlog by now. But you know, it's good just to vibe and connect and everything. He singles out right now. Clap it on iTunes. So we just thought we'd come and chill out. Um, and yeah, man, just like get good vibes. So keep it, guys. Keep surrounding yourself around good people and everything. And this light is a bit crazy in my eyes right now, so I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> There you go, just caught up with H Dami. He's a very, very good friend of mine. You know, we've um, known each other for, he's known me since I was probably like 17, but I've met him since I was like 13, 14. It's a funny story that as well, I might as well tell you guys, because I was actually, I used to be a music producer back when I was like uh, 15, 16. So I used to make beats and stuff. And Rishi Rich and H Dami were just like inspirations of mine. And Rishi Rich actually lived near, nearby me. So I'd go to his house, go outside his house and literally drop off my CD on his windscreen, just so he'd hear my beats. So that's how hungry I was even then to even just get heard when I was like interested in music. And I'd like, when H. Dami used to have signings, I'd like queue up just to get like something signed by him. And I've got a picture of him when we were really young as well, which is really cool. Yeah. And now I've just recently done his new branding. Um, and he's just kind of turned into like this kind of big brother mentorship role as well. Like when I see him, it's just good just to speak about life. Just, you know, speak to people who have been through things. I can just like, you know, put you in the right direction. Like I'm getting married now and he's already been married. Like he's got two beautiful kids as well. I like just be able to vibe with someone like that. And just to be able to have general conversations with so much love. Um, and you know, and then that's what makes you want to like kind of help out and work on different things as well. And you get more opportuni opportunities that way as well. So I definitely think that's something that you guys really have to take into consideration is like the beauty of, um, building relationships just of pure energy and vibes so, so now on my way to meet um, another very good friend of mine his name's Nick Nick's launched an app called Dribble it's a fantasy football app um, but this guy is genius like again he's at like 22 24 he's from San Diego San Diego in California but now he's moved over to London to launch a startup and we met through mutual friends and you know again these are the type of people that will just call you um, and just say you know I've got an idea I want you to be involved or you know I when I've got ideas I call these guys up and you know I say yo Nick let's talk about this and we just meet up and we just have conversations about creative ideas so Nick gave me a shout literally last night I said when you're when are you free in the next two weeks we had a conversation today I was like bro I am free today I'll make time I'm going all the way to East London now to meet up with him and have a chat and just to see you know what his idea is and how, how I can help I'm with Nick now. What's up, guys? It's going? Just got to WeWork. Check out the beer. Oh, this place is fun. Let me. This looks super cool. It's a like co-working space, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's definitely the office. Yeah. This is the office. This is Nick. I'll tell, I'll tell them guys about you. I was saying, um, taking them out. I was saying, no, no, I was saying, remember, remember how we, when we collaborate, I said literally, like, you can make, give me a phone call, I'm just linked up, you're like, we're, we're going to meet up in the next two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, 24 hours later, AKA, we're here. AKA four hours later. This guy's a genius right here. <laughs> no, I don't know about that, this is him right here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Is this Dan? Yeah, this is Dan. So we're in old Sp you. Spitalfields Market right now. We just discussed some ideas for like a cool campaign. Yeah. It's what creatives do. We're both designers. Constantly on the thing. You know? <laughs> just product makers. <laughs> We met in LA through friends of ours and now we're out in London, he's building a company here and literally like I told you guys, just call me down um, 
to discuss an idea. Just walking around here. We literally now have the crazy. We're, we're freezing our asses off together. <laughs> in London instead of LA. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly not what you said. It's completely different. All the way to London. <laughs> but yeah. you know what? We have the most amazing creative idea just walking like this. Like we're walking and we're just talking about advertising campaigns and you know, things that we could put out for like each other's companies and stuff. Yeah. It's just so cool. Like these are the type of friends and company you, you need to be around who like inspire you, motivate you, and just have that good vibe. So it's about helping each other out too. You know, it's uh, inspiring each other and making sure we're all heading down the right path. You know, hundred percent, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. love um, that. Yeah, We're trying to find a food place to eat around here. All right, cool. I'm not even like from these. In in in, in, in London, we call it ends. Like we're, I'm not from these ends. You're not from these ends. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not from these ends either. <laughs> <laughs> You're not from I, just, I just know there's food somewhere around here. It's some other spots. Right, I, can, I can smell it. Oh, there's some cool stuff here. Go check some food spots here. Like Indigo, go and shoot it. This is yeah. halal? Uh, Fluffle, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this He's on a halal fun. mission with me. He's trying to find yeah, halal I'm food. On the, I'm on the halal mission. <laughs> <laughs> just session with uh, Nick and um, Rupert and Dan. So, this guy's super cool. I mean, like I was, like I was saying, again, when you have these type of relationships, you're just willing to work and make things happen. So, that's it. We've got that done now. Uh, we've got a follow-up meeting in about two weeks' time. And we're now going to head to... London Bridge, I'm in Shoreditch, I went into London Bridge to take care of this uh, Spirit of London Awards meeting with these um, for this charity, so I'm gonna head down there show you guys what's going on it's been a crazy day, I feel so tired I've been up since half seven on that four hour sleep but you know, no complaints ready, let's get to work That's Spirit of London Awards Spirit of London <laughs> Guy, what's up, say hi Hi, what's going on? Where are we? Yeah. Uh, where are we? We're at uh, Solar Group, Spirit of London Awards, and this guy will find you somewhere by email, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to introduce me, the email guy. We'll go around here, we've got a room of. Go here, guys, say what's up. Yo, that was the deadest WhatsApp ever, but we'll deal, we'll deal with it. It's, we'll still get used to it. I love the Snapchat. It's not Snapchat, this isn't Snapchat, this is. Oh, this is your like, This video. is a vlog. Hi. You guys have to, you're the first episode of the vlog. The first yes. episode? Yeah, this is the first episode of the vlog. Oh, oh, no. oh, I've been doing like different videos and stuff, but this is the first vlog vlog. Oh, Omar famous. Yeah, man, we're like up here in the solar group. Look, see we've got little agendas on the TV. Check the chair. Come on. Who's chairing it? Who's chairing it? Oh, you're oh, chairing it. Come on, John, a little dance. Yes, John. Okay. <laughs> He's going down today. <laughs> huh? Yeah, you have to pay us all like an exposure fee, pretty much. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you know, yeah. royalties yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Is anyone against being paid like, in Domino's? You know what? I'll get, I'll, I'll get like a, a message from YouTube saying that Gary's like done some copyright stuff. <laughs> like, you can't use it anymore. It's like madness. But um, yeah, I, I, I met I think pretty much all of you um, before, uh, maybe by a, few, a couple of exceptions. Uh, but my journey with Solo started back in like 2010, right? So I was like nominated then. Uh, for um, a company I set up at the time, which was called Six Two, so we were like a design ag uh, design agency and had a clothing label as well. So I ran that for like um, maybe four years or so. Gary, um, so I knew Whitney at the time, who introduced me to Gary, uh, and that's when my journey with Solo started. So me and Gary have had conversations over the last year or so, which always just like don't end up anywhere because you just talk and then like nothing happens. And <laughs> all we're trying to do, but all we're trying to do is get to this stage. I like, have this meeting, so I think it's good we're all here because we could just air all those all, all those things, right? You run, run applause for that, yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. Like. <laughs> we made it. Gary is also the we only guy I know who takes his tie off at the start of the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you stayed yeah. in someone's house. For those who don't know, whose yeah. house did you stay in Jeez. LA recently? Uh, Diddy, but I wasn't like, I was at Diddy's okay. house, but yeah. Diddy's house? Yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah. But I didn't stay there, I was oh, like, there, yeah, I was guest. But you was at nightclub with him for a lot of the time. That was the way we were there like, every day, no. yeah. But yeah. No, that was cool. Was that? Yeah. Yeah. He's working with your son, right? No, so yeah, so basically I went out to LA in October. So Diddy's son, Quincy, we're very, very good friends now. Um, but we met just like randomly over emails, crazy stuff. Uh, and then we became really good friends off that. Uh, ended up working on a few different projects. So he's watched, this is, I'm wearing the watch right now. So he released the watch line, end up doing all the creative direction for that. So I'm a designer, that's my background. Um, did all the creative direction, now I'm building the apps. And then literally, obviously, some of you might, guys might have heard of Revolt, which Diddy runs, it's a network. And then every year he does Revolt Music Conference. Uh, and it was in Miami. And Quincy just said to me, come out. So I went there, they gave me like VIP all access. 
And again, this was all based off an email that I randomly sent. So even to build a relationship with that level was incredible. I landed and he was like, we're going to, I was like, he's like, are you hungry? I was like, yeah, let's go get some food. He's like, right, cool, just come to my hotel and we'll go. I went to a hotel and bear in mind, I'm just a regular kid from West London right now, yeah? So I'm like, I just go to the hotel, it's on five, so I'm mad what's going on. And there's a car, go outside, and obviously everyone knows who he is, so you're walking outside, jump into like a blacked out car, and then yeah, we're just going to get some food. I'm thinking we're just going to go like, just to a, maybe a nice place in Miami or something, pulls up to like this gated like community, and you walk in, it's on, it's on an island. I'm like, what is this man? And like, it's Diddy's house. So you walk in there, and, this, and his guest house was like, maybe twice the size of my house. <laughs> like, and then you've got like his main house and he's like, oh yeah, you wanna go see the studio? Like, and then like, there was jet skis at the front and all, it's madness. I and mean, there's like 24 hour chefs, but that was an incredible experience. Then we went to LA after that. So we went in Miami for five days. Every day we were with like all Bad Boy and all Diddy and everyone. And then afterwards, <laughs> just, no, I don't want to name drop, man. Buster Rhymes and Lil Wayne and a couple people. But <laughs> Yeah. Best icebreaker. <laughs> hey, oh, that's right, it's right, man. It's all right, man. It's all right, man. It's all right, man. On that note, because there's too many names, I don't know any of these people. I'm just Googling them. So, no way. If you said Puff Daddy, we don't know who it was. <laughs> Oh I was like, I can't God. find someone called Quincy. <laughs> you can find that old guy, in it. That one who used that so TV like, program. Thanks, what was his name? John's Jamie's one here, by the way. Huh? By, one here. by quite yeah. a margin as well. Um, no, thank you for that. That's I cool. appreciate I it. I mean, they, they, yeah, I, mean, I don't know how I can politically entwine that, but, you know. <laughs> let it roll, let it roll. Um, no, I, I knew who Diddy was. Yeah. But, um, no, it's really useful as well. It just yeah. shows how, I think, maybe how different, different journeys into this is. And what's really interesting is the springboard yeah. it was for you. Yeah, and like it's, it's for me the useful thing around um, putting on my boring strategy hat how do we try and throw that opportunity out to more people mm -hmm. especially after times where the road's been a bit rocky how do we start to just move it out so wait who's going to tweet the picture from this meeting then everyone oh, yeah. we have no I'm going to be so long it's done for the day that's what the time is oh. it's 9pm this meeting is done and wrapped up but I go to the last good I go to the head back sometimes are what's happening now I've got to get my call at the had a meeting it was good like you know it was good to have everyone back together again and it's mad because we've realised that someone's been working with us for like six years and um, we've got a new date for Solar so it's going to be bigger, better, cooler, more fun than ever. So look forward to seeing you there. So, Chris at the bottom. Yeah, look at that shit. So we've got Alika here. I think there's their own stuff, right? Yeah. And it's that second Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Melody. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. main man, some crazy ideas. But this one I'm talking about, this is the kind of inspiration people are around. And we're just obviously going to have meetings at some point as well and discuss yeah, yeah. collaboration. I feel so, like clapped right now, but I guess the main bit to let everyone know is the future's bright. Solo, right here. Melody, right here. We're doing this shit, man. Let's make it happen. Peace. 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 Guys, what's up? I hope you enjoyed that. That was my first vlog, so I apologize and forgive me if it was too long or not quite right or anything like that. Um, I want to continue improving them as I go, but I need your comments and help for that. So please drop your comments below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, let me know if there's anything I can change or things I should do better maybe or cut down on, whatever it is, just let me know. And as I go, hopefully this will get better. My main purpose of this is to give you guys an insight into what I do, why I love what I do and how you can do it too. So along the way, I give you guys some inspiration and give you enough motivation to go out and do, do what you love yourself as well. Please subscribe to my channel. The more of you that subscribe, the more this word spreads as well and the more like amazing content I can keep delivering to as many of you as possible. So please subscribe, that'll be just there. And also there's other videos out as well. So there's a couple of videos on my channel you can check out. Uh, but I did a recent one that's about staying motivated. So if any of you have trouble staying motivated, don't know how you can keep going, or if there's battles that you're facing and, and, and hurdles in your way, check out that video, which will be just here. Click on that, have a look at it. Let me know Let me know what you think on that as well. If you guys want more of this type of content on a daily basis, want to follow what's really happening, apart from just my vlogs, I want to see it in real life, live and personal, make sure you follow me on my socials. My Instagram is all my childry. My Twitter is all my childry. My Snapchat is is it Omar? So I S I T Omar. Loads goes down on my Snapchat. Loads of little like clips and, and fun stuff and inspiration and all that. Um, and my, my Periscope as well, which again is all my childry. So I'm gonna put all the links below uh, in the description. So check them out. Follow me online. Follow me on my socials and get in touch. I want to speak to you guys and get connected with you guys and know what you want so I can keep delivering stuff for you guys as well. So I hope you enjoyed. Have a wicked week and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Take care.